Alright guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to episode number 12 of Human Resource Machine. Last time off we were going to try and sort these words. Um, so make sure they were in the correct order. And we need to kind of step back into the program and, and debug to see what's going on. So I want to see where that comparison happened. Alright, so copy to the zero. Okay. So reset the values. Copy from the first array. Subtract from the second array. Now, if it's zero... Why am I doing that if it's zero? That's where I need to go if it's zero. All right, let's try this out. All right. You and you should be zero. Increment the array, increment the array, next letter. Increment the array, increment the array, next letter. Increment the array, increment the array, next letter. Four, so it's positive. So, we should be taking from Okay. Fails on another input. Let's have a look. Oh, it's because I'm not doing a comparison at the end, but if it's the same. Yeah. Okay, so um, I need to We check if we copy from here though as well, don't we? So if we got to the end of a string, then realistically it doesn't matter which one we take it from, does it? If we get to the end of a string, then they're both the same. The, the program, the game will soon tell us if we're wrong. Why are you taking from there? What was the result of... Nope, go back. Come on, back. So if it's negative... doing that for. It's in my code. Why I told it to do that is what I mean. Alright, so give me some examples where it'll fail. So if it fails, go from there. If it's zero, let's take it from there instead. If I 
again, though. Still so another solution that we're, we're going to fail on here. Almost like I need to check to see which of the strings is longer for a star, right? Check come from there, and then we're going to copy from there. So if that's zero, then two is greater than one. Else, copy from this is very scruffy again. Scruffy, but it works. Ooh, four commands again. Only four steps short, though. That's um, interesting. All right, well, we'll come back to that one. Next one is a Digit Exploder. Our users have been rating some of our hardware products with one star. With user reviews citing, draws too much power and overheats. Numbers are too complicated for test subjects. Occasionally removes alarming volume of skin for human users. So management has come up with a solution to make the number smaller and easy to understand. Grab each number from the inbox and send its digits to the outbox. For example, one, two, three uh, becomes one, two, and three. Oh, okay. Okay, I think this one should be, should be. First of all, let's make copies of these numbers first. So, so, this one will be copy zero, copy ten, copy one hundred. Okay. So, we've reset everything. Grab the inbox and copy it to position zero. So, first off, we're going to check for 100s. Okay. So, sub. Sub 100. So, if it's zero or if it's negative, so if it's negative, start tens. If it's zero, or it's positive, hold on, we also want to do and that's 
it's going to be units tens and hundreds okay so if it's negative we're going to do that else we are going to increment hundreds and then we will jump back to here all right so then if it's get to here we're going to subtract from here i might not need that extra row but we'll see we'll see so copy from 10 all right if it's negative then we need to start unit else we're going to increment tens and jump back round so then if we have the units left we can copy that to units and actually we don't need to copy to units do we nope we can outbox that copy from tens outbox that copy from hundreds outbox that jump back to the beginning I think I've got far too many copies going on so let's step through this oh wait a second I know I've done wrong there copy to units copy to tens copy to hundreds that's what I need to do Yep, and that eradicates the need for having these as well. So let's get rid of these. So we're going to get rid of 7, 8. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Uh, we need them. And we're going to sub from hundreds. Sub from tens. And that's it. Alright, so let's run through it. 38 is the first one. Don't know why I'm copying that one, but hey. Sub from 11. If it's negative, start the tens. We need to grab it from there, though, first, don't we? No, we don't. So we'll add from 11 we don't need a copy on 6 start units we need to add from 10 alright let's try this oh we need to grab it though I think I just need to copy the results somewhere, don't I? So I need to... Right, so F0... Jumped there. If that's zero, we're going to jump to there. It's one hundred. 
So yeah, we need to copy it first. Before we bump, we need to copy. Copy to there. Copy from there. And then we're going to want to do the same on the tend, right? Copy to there. Copy from there. Alright, let's see what this does. Doing it. I'm putting them on the belt in the wrong order. Oh well, achievement unlocked. That's something, right? Yeah, the tens. The tens, the tens, the tens. So let's see what's. Let's just work this out again. Minus one. Okay. Sub ten. Why am I adding an eleven there? That wants to go there. That's where I possibly went wrong. But yeah, I also I need to do these in a different order, don't I? So So I need to copy the, I do need to copy this to units. And then I need to do copy from there. If it's zero. Copy from ten. If it's zero. Copy from units. That was right, wasn't it? Because if it's 123, we need one, two, three. Hundreds, tens units, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so it's going to break with different inputs. Okay, so what inputs are going to break this? Let's have a look. Yes, zero. All right, so. We need to check for the zero. On, just on the tens, won't it? We need to check it for anywhere else. Come on, let's run, run into it again.
this. Why was it breaking? Oh. Yeah, I don't need to check on the zero, on the ten. That's what I need to do. That's what I not need to do anyway. But if the hundreds is zero... Right, if hundreds is zero... Then I need to include it. Else. If that's zero, jump to there. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be a conditional zero. Right? We're only interested in the zero if we've got a hundred. there in a minute guys we will we will if it's it if right if if it's a zero We need to check the 10. Else we're going to do that. It's a bit like an if-else kind of statement, I guess. Hope so. All right, so we need to optimize by a couple of a couple of size on the size there. Uh, all right, so Prime Factory is year forty. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? This is a very difficult assignment. I have no idea how to do it either. Alright, for each thing in the inbox, send its prime factors to the outbox. Okay. So a prime number... What's a prime number? <laughs> My maths isn't, isn't good. Uh... So they're a unique list of prime numbers that multiply together to result in a given number. Harsh. Okay, so... Um, Prime numbers of okay, so 13. 13 is going to be 13, right? 18 is going to be... Two times three... Two times three times three? Alright, I need to do some research on a prime number because I am that stupid and I can't think at the minute what a prime number is, so I will be right back. Alright guys, so I've done a bit of research to try and de-stupid de myself almost. 
Now I think what it is, is prime numbers are... Oh sorry, prime factors are prime numbers that can be multiplied against each other to make the given number. Okay, so 13 and 17 are prime numbers themselves because they can only be divided by themselves and one. So we need to send 13 and 17 in this example to the outbox. Then 80, we need to make 18 using prime numbers. So I think that's going to be, that would be 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 6 is 18. But how I quite transpose that into this is anyone's guess. Because... Two times three. It's almost like I need a list of prime numbers up to the number I'm pulling in. So hold on, let's do. Let's try. Take it from the inbox. This is just like total. Copy it to zero. Copy from zero. Copy to, say, here. Okay, so now I need to copy that to there. I need to find every... I need to find every prime number. I need to find every prime number that is less than this number here. So I'm going to do... Copy to that to there. Let's do this second actually, so then we don't have to pick it up again. And then we're going to. One isn't a prime number, though, is it? got to work out a system of being able to have a list of prime numbers for a start or a way to create the prime numbers for a start. So I think the first task is to be able to increment a value in prime numbers. Second task is then to, for each of those numbers, we need to subtract it from the base number. If it's negative, then we know we haven't reached that number yet. Oh, this, this seems... This seems like it's going to be complex, guys. I'll be honest. This might be one of those um, overnight breakfast epiphany moments right now. So we're going to leave the episode there today, guys. I am really going to have to think hard about this one. Um, thank you very much, as always, for watching. Hope it's enjoyable as ever. Please leave your comments. I do enjoy reading them. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.